G'day. I just wanted to um, do a bit of a review of my new Canova slider. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, it's a it's a great slider. And also just wanted to do a tutorial on how to uh, hook it up to Manfrotto 525 legs and put the 501 head on it. Just because it wasn't at first completely obvious to me how to do it. And I had a look online and I couldn't find any other tutorials. Comes in this uh, nice looking bag. Looks um, plenty strong enough to carry carry these items around. Uh, here we've got the height adjustable legs. So you could just take this bag with the legs and the slider and um, an adapter or an head out to out to a chute. Obviously really portable. I mean you could just utilize someone else's table uh, or the floor of course. You could be shooting weddings, adding lots of value to your video. I mean that's the point of buying something like this anyway isn't it? It's quite a nice looking bit of kit, nicely anodized. It um, comes with a comes with a brake. You can't really use the brake to slow the slide down. It's uh, it's on or off. You can see this is um, this slides nicely, but there's no wobble in it. You can actually um, pull this all apart to adjust the the tension on the bearings to slow down your slide. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Also comes with these um, rail cleaners just to keep your rails nice and clean. Comes with everything you need. Let's undo this. Now the other tools supplied. That's great, isn't it? Let's turn this clockwise. As you can see, that's a lot harder to move already. Okay, now to put the slider on the man photo leaks. Once you've got these two bits apart, it's pretty straightforward. You need a small flat bladed screwdriver to loosen these off so we can actually turn the bowl, undo the nut, slide the, the bowl off, undo the, the bottom nut. Now once all that's off, this will mount straight to your slider. Now you've got these pieces left over, it goes in there. And make sure you haven't got too much thread showing otherwise your slider won't work and you could damage your bearings. Now I actually made a little washer out of plastic um, just to protect the anodized bottom of the slider so we'll just do this up tight okay To me, with this setup, it's really amazing the kind of things you can do. Nice sturdy legs. There's no worries with the weight, even at the um, extremes. Now you've actually got mounting points on the ends. And under each end, if you wanted to use two tripods or lighting stands. And um, the ones on the ends are if you want to do vertical. Pretty epic, isn't it? As you can see, it's really versatile and it just can't be beaten for the money in Australia. Uh, the ISIS system was going to cost um, almost $300 and this was uh, $285 plus $40 postage. So not a lot more and um, a much, much better product. Thanks for watching.